So I thought that I would do a Vogue styled video since I've seen lots of celebrities do it. Um, and I want to create my own and show these how a real makeup artist does makeup. Because all the wackyana. So let go. What I'm gonna do is prime my eyelids because obviously I guess celebrities don't know how to prime their eyelids or they don't have to. You should prime your eyelids because that's important. I am gonna be using super bougie products because <laughs> hello we're doing a vogue video um so i'm going to be using the fenty beauty eyeshadow primer i like to blend it out with my finger i'm going to do kind of like a jewel kind of look glitter rhinestones so I'm gonna I have these two palettes here this is one of my favorite brands ever Pat McGrath um, I have the bronze okay this is the bronze seduction palette I have from Pat McGrath I also have her other palette here I don't know what it's called it's just like a quad like looks like that it's very pretty this is my favorite shade this one that gold one oh my god I always like to use a fluffy brush. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And these celebrities are always using the mirror on the palette. So I'm gonna try to do that. Even though I can barely see. So I'm just confused. I can't, I gotta go to this. I'm just going to stick that right in the crease. going to give me some definition. And I just put like a little cute little glittery background so I can match the whole vibe and aesthetic of the makeup products that I'm going to be using. And the glittery glam. Because all these celebrities have is their expensive ass bathrooms with freaking five shower heads and six different custom made sinks. I'm going to use my $20 fabric that I got on Amazon while I use a $120 eyeshadow palette. <laughs> hey, priority somewhere, right? <laughs> but I am using this dope-ass brush. This one is from Scott Barnes, number 62 brush. Bomb. Obviously, these makeup... These girls that do these makeup videos, these celebrities, they never mention the brushes that they're using. And sometimes our brushes are just awful. Where they just use their fingers. I'm like, oh my goodness gracious. Just taking a clean brush and going over the shade that I just put. The more you layer this shade, the darker it gets. So try to go in with it lightly. Alright, so I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'm going to put that on with my finger. I'm going to take a little bit more of that first shade. And I'm putting it pretty high up on my lid. Just for like that more editorial look. And then I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's not white. It's not white. It's like this gorgeous iridescent like green weird look at that oh my lord done 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 i'm gonna put a little bit of darkness on the outside and i'm gonna go in just with this should i go in with the purple should i do that for the fam i'm gonna go in with this dark purple Putting more of that gold shade, the one that we put on the center. And I'm just focusing that on the outer. I'm gonna put the jewels. I have these jewels that I got um, on 
Amazon. And uh, they look like this. They look like this. So that is what I'm going to use to apply my glitter. My glitter. My jewels. And some lash glue. I like to use the Callus lash glue. And I think I'm going to use um, like rose gold ones and the gold ones. When you put jewels, you want to make sure that you're able to see them when your eyes are open. So I'm going to put one right at the top. Now I'm going to put um, a gold one on the inner corner. I'm going to add another gold one right I'm going to put one more well, We're going to move on to the face This Dior moisturizer that I really like It's called Capture Youth Age Delay Advanced Cream That's what I'm going to be using Stop the aging process altogether Eye cream on too because why not I mean we're gonna be doing a Vogue video so hello I'm using the Dior capture total eye cream I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath primer because I think it's amazing none of these celebrities seem to put primer on weird but primer is pretty important <laughs> doesn't matter what kind of skin type you have primer is important and I know a lot of people are very sensitive to primer so you just got to find one that works for you but primer is important once you find that like perfect primer for you trust me you'll never go back so my favorite one is the Pat McGrath skin fetish one because I feel like it just smooths my skin really nice and it's a great base for underneath my makeup um, I'm gonna go into foundation now foundation I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath sublime foundation because this is one of my favorite foundations ever I'm gonna put it on a tray so that it can be sanitary these celebrities don't know how to keep things sanitary and then I'm just gonna pounce that all over my skin I really like this foundation because it's very thin but it gives me amazing coverage to be honest with you, all the time I put this foundation on, I feel like a supermodel. Like, look at that coverage. Like, where did my, where did all my imperfections go? They left building 10,000 pumps too. Cause I got a big ass face, okay? And I need foundation to cover it all. foundation so much yeah I don't need any more but I still have some on the tray and I'm not gonna let it go away so I'm putting it on whether it goes on my face or soaks up in my sponge as long as I don't see it on the tray I've used it for concealer I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath uh, concealer <laughs> I don't know what else to call it um, because it's a bougie concealer that's how it looks real cute This is just how I put on concealer. I like to brighten up my chin and to give it some extra concealage. It's also really good if you have a darkness on your chin, brighten that area up. I also like to brighten up my upper lip. I'm gonna do some cream contour. And also one thing I've noticed is that 
the girls that do these Vogue videos, the celebrities, I mean, the celebrities that do these Vogue videos, they're always standing up. Like, why are you standing? Like when I do my makeup, I like to relax. I give myself enough time. Obviously, there's gonna be those days when you're in more of a rush, but I never do my makeup standing up. I like to put a lot because I find that it gives me really great color and that it fades a lot due to like the powders and the creams that I put. And then you see I go in with the sponge and I just like blend it out. And also all the celebrities are always using cream contour. To be honest, I think they use cream contour just because it's easy to blend out. If they make a mistake, they could just put like foundation on top of it. If you have a defined um, or don't have a double chin like me, you can go in and contour that area. But since I have a double chin, all you would see is like a line and then like my skin. So I don't really try to contour this part just because it all turns to one big blob anyway. So now I'm going to put some powder on. This is my favorite powder ever. I love baking. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I always do. I feel like it's a good thing to do for every kind of occasion. And I really love this powder because it's very thin. It doesn't emphasize any pores or no light it. And I use it in the shade light one because it has like a pinky undertone. And I think that a pinky undertone, especially if you're golden skinned, it really helps to brighten up the under eye. And I basically put it everywhere I put the concealer. For me specifically, I have to put it on my forehead because I crease on my forehead no matter what foundation I use, concealer, I'm always creasing. And I always have to set it and this powder is amazing because it doesn't make anything look thick or cakey. A little bit more under my eyes because I leave it to set there because that's just what I prefer. Alright, now I'm going to go in with my lower lash line. And that's why I put the powder there so that any fallout that happens, that if it happens because of the Pat McGrath eyeshadows, <laughs> I don't know about that. But just in case I get a little ham, I have that powder there for insurance. So that if anything does fall, the powder catches it when I wipe off the powder no mess I'm gonna go in with that purple shade brush and kind of buff it out blend that out make sure everything is already blended I kind of want it I don't know if you guys can see but there's like a no fallout coming from that purple amazing now I'm going to go in with the golden shade that we used. And I'm not using these eyeshadows wet. These are just that freaking pigmented. They are so luxurious. And then I'm putting that light one in the inner corner. So what I like to do as I always like to go in with a setting spray. I'm going to use the Morphe Continue setting spray because that's just personally my favorite. I feel like it really does an amazing job just like softening everything and making everything look like one. And I like drench my skin in it. And I also like to do this because I think that it intensifies the highlighter. And I always use a little fan just to time for highlighter I'm gonna go in with the Dior and it comes with this little like fancy velvet pouch I don't know why but it do and this is how it looks and I like to use this little tiny brush this one is a Morphe JS4 brush tiny 
I like it because it's precise. It's by Morphe and Jeffree Star. Like, come on, are you serious? And that's Dior, Dior. I always put it on the tip of my nails on my cupid bow which is right above the lip I used to put it on my chin haven't done that in probably two years now because um i used to break out i mean i break out on my chin it's my most breakout part of my face honestly one of the only ones i only break out here on my chin but i feel like when you put highlighter it emphasizes that so much um, that i don't miss it and I naturally get really oily anyway, kind of on my chin. So in pictures, like when I have a lot of highlight, it just looks a little too strong. And I just keep going with the highlight because I personally love, love, love it. You can put as little or as much as you want, but I really love to be beaming. Um, so for blush, I'm going to put on this Dior blush. It's new. It is like a orangey, corally kind of shade which is beautiful I'm gonna use a Scott Barnes uh, cheek brush because this brush is so so bomb and I feel like it just does the work for you like if you can go with a matte blush and a matte bronzer or cream because cream doesn't really emphasize texture and I always like to put the blush up to the temple so now all I have is lashes which is what I put on before I put my lipstick I don't know why it's just something that I do and I always put lashes on after I've put my whole entire face makeup because um, when I put mascara and when I put lashes on and I have the powder it gets all over the lashes and then I have to put mascara on and then it gets clumpy and no that's not a cute look for nobody so for mascara, I like to go drugstore. That's just something that I like. So I always use these two mascaras here, the Lash Accelerator Mascara by Rimmel and the Flower Beauty Lash Warrior. And I have a really bad time with mascaras. They are always transferring on me. Trust me, almost every single mascara that I have other than these two transfers so badly on me, it's ridiculous. Right now I'm going to put the Lash Accelerator on my bottom lashes. Okay, so for lashes, I'm going to be putting on the Huda Beauty Hoodie number 23 lashes. I really love these lashes because they're very long and they're fluffy, but I don't know, they give me kind of like a Marilyn Monroe type of vibe. And I still want to be able to see a lot of the glitter. You know what I'm saying? I'll be back with some lashes on okay i don't know why i look so great no i don't so um for in the waterline just to put something in there i'm gonna use the charlotte tilbury rock and roll iconic liquid eye pencil in barbella and bar barbarella brown and as you can see i already have the lashes on they look amazing you know i just have to talk about real quick my dream that i had last night that was crazy i had a dream that i don't even remember how the guy looked or who the guy was but i guess he was this really famous like talk show host and i guess we crashed into like this talk show and we were kind of like backstage like me and like two or three other people and like you weren't able to see us but you were able to see our silhouette and so we were like dancing right in the background and I guess everybody really loved it. So we went to go, like, I guess right across in another arena. You were able to, like, go through a bridge and go to, like, a different arena. And there was another talk show going on there. We were going to do the same thing. And then I guess the talk show from the one that we were at, the guy, he was like, wait, guys, come back. Look at how many people. Look, our ratings are so amazing. Double the people came to that talk show. I don't know how it happened. It was, like, weird. Um, he was like, please come back. Like, be a part of, like, a talk show. We need you. You are so amazing. And I was a part of a freaking talk show. And I was, like, with a microphone, like, a part of the talk show. And everybody, like, loved me. And I 
I loved it. I loved it. I was like, oh my gosh, is that a sign that I'm gonna become famous? Please, because I feel like I was born to be famous. I feel like I was born to be famous. Hopefully God answers my prayers because your girl was born to slay. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a uh, lip liner now. I'm gonna go move on to lips because that's the last thing, last step. I love the KKW Beauty lip liners. I think they're so creamy, so soft. So I'm gonna be using the Nude 1.5 lip liner. My favorites are Nude 1 and Nude 1.5 and Nude 2. For lipstick, I'm going to be using one of my favorite brands, which is Charlotte Tilbury. It is actually International Harry Potter Day. Love you, Harry Potter. So I'm going to be using uh, JK Magic lipstick, which is um, a lipstick that Charlotte Tilbury created inspired by JK Rowling, which is the author of Harry Potter. Fun fact, JK Rowling said herself that if Harry Potter was turned into a makeup line, or was a makeup line, it would be Charlotte Tilbury. Freaking pretty. Oh my goodness, it's my favorite. I love this lipstick. I love lip gloss, so I'm gonna use the Lip Maximizer Hyaluronic Lip Plumper by Dior. And I like it because it doesn't really change the color. It just makes it more glossy. Oh my goodness guys, that is it. That is my look. I hope that you guys had fun watching this video and my take on the Vogue beauty videos that Vogue has been putting out on YouTube. I kind of want to do my take on it. I know that they never zoom in or zoom out or anything like that. Usually it's just like them kind of like going really close to the mirror and stuff like that. So I wanted to do kind of something similar to that. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. All my little rantings. Um, I just want to show you how a bab does makeup and how a real makeup artist does makeup. Yep. So um, yeah. <laughs> Bye. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Vogue uh, for inspiring me to do this makeup. So please make sure you check out Vogue because their content is bomb. I'm just goofing around in this video and the celebrities are actually really cool to be doing um, these videos because it gives us an intake and a little personal view into their world, you know. But um, I just wanted to have fun with this video and show you how a real makeup artist does uh, makeup. In a vogue kind of fashion and just talking makeup lingo and all that so yeah that is all i have to tell you guys thank you so much for checking out this video please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell not to be notified of when i post new videos and also subscribe to vogue like i said i hope my little bambas have a blessed day